Welcome everyone, Marvel Future Revolutions just released soft launch in Canada. If you're interested in playing this game, I'll show you at the end how to play this on Bluestacks. You can do the same thing for your Android devices. It's an amazing new Marvel game. I think you're really going to enjoy this. It's different than a lot of other things that we've played out there. Tons of PvP, tons of co-op and raids, and it, you see everybody in the open world with you. So sometimes you're going to have to change channels because it gets too congested. But what I really want to show today is this quest for liberty. The quest, the quest for liberty, you're going to unlock around level 28 or 29, and it's going to say raise your squad rank to 13. Now this looks like a pay wall because there are ways to do this and pay for this to rank it up. I was at squad rank 11 when this came up and when you click on it, look what it says. It says to go over to do all the normal stuff in the game that you do. Complete your side quests which actually do not give you squad rank or don't very little and then complete your blitz in your daily operations which they do but that's daily and then explore the regions and complete all your activity logs which is a lot. So it doesn't really explain what to do. So when you get there, you're gonna think that this is a paywall and it might put you off, but it's not a paywall, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is start a second hero. So here's our daily. Our daily is only 100 per daily that we complete, 100 experience for your squad. Now when we go over to battles here, look at these battles. Whenever you took your main hero through the game, and the story is amazing in this, they put so much time and effort into the story, for each of the hero that you play, and then the overall story arc. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, give this game a try. I don't have any codes for it. I don't have anything special. I just love Marvel games. I played Marvel Future Fight, which is made by NetMarvel, the same company that's doing this game. And then I played Marvel Strike Force, and I played an old card, card Marvel game, probably one of the very first app games I played about eight years ago by Kabam, I think. So anything Marvel, I love to play. But this, you're going to like this one. This one is huge, and you see people in the open world with you, and they actually help you take down bosses in the open world. Then you team up in raids, you have alliances, you have three different major PVPs to do to work toward. Okay, back to the quest. Quest for Liberty. It is not a paywall. You just have to start another hero, and you have four heroes for free. So you start a brand new hero, and when you go defeat Kingpin again, you're going to get this 2,000 squad experience. When you go defeat Ultron again, you're going to get 2,000 more. And when you beat them a third time with a third hero, you're going to get even more. But you don't need to. All you have to do is make a second hero, play it to about level 11, and then you're going to beat Kingpin and get 2,000. That'll probably take you up to level 13. And then if you want to go further with that hero, I am at, I think, squad rank 22 right now. I was at 12 when I started. I started a new hero, which is Star-Lord. I took him through and I actually just kept playing Star-Lord to level 31, past my level 30 Captain Marvel, and now I'm pretty much gonna main Star-Lord for a while, but I got all this squad experience that really jacked me up to level 22 very quickly. It was super easy to do. We just have to run through there and do what you've already done. And it's pretty much full auto. You just go through there all on auto and get it completed. If you've already run through it once, it's really easy to do again. So we're gonna beat Kingpin again with my Star-Lord. He was already level nine, now he's level 13. We beat Kingpin, and then I kept playing through the game, but right when I beat Kingpin, I got that 2,000 for beating him on another hero, right? Now I'm level squad 14. It jumped me up to squad 14 just from that one. That's why I'm up to 21 or 22 that I'm at right now. It was so quick to go through there and get this squad experience. So really, Quest for Liberty, that's what this video is mainly about because when I got to it, I thought, wow, is this a paywall? Do I need to go over there and pay for the experience for this? Because there are ways to buy it. It really and truly looked like that to me. That's why I want to get the video out to you because I also searched Google and I searched YouTube and I didn't see anything about it. But try this game out. So much effort went into all of the cinematics, all the story. This game's amazing. If you're not into PvP, which there's a lot of PvP, if you're not into grouping up and doing raids, which you should be, that's a big part of the game and a fun part of the game, you should try it. Just, just give it a try. Okay, so here's my account. Here's my actual main account. We've got Captain Marvel here. We've got Star-Lord. I'm going to go in really quick. Your gear that you wear is what you actually see on your hero. Even in the cutscenes, you actually see whatever you put on your champion. Now, you can change it. You can get the best gear, the strongest gear on you, and then put whatever look you want on your hero as well. And you'll only see that look the whole entire time. These are real people running around with me. Real people running around. And you're going to want to play this on Bluestacks, I feel like, because once you have WASD or however you want to set it up, it's easier and it looks better. It looks like it needs a desktop client is what I feel like. 
because I feel like it just looks so big and beautiful. They've done such a good job with this. You can't really tell right now from this setting, but they really have. You're just gonna have to believe me. I'll do future videos about all the amazing things to do with this, or go watch me play it on Twitch, or watch others play it on Twitch, and I think you'll be sold. Maybe now you didn't come here for that quest and you wanna know how to play this game. So let's drop this down and find out exactly what we need to do to play this on Bluestacks. Now I downloaded Bluestacks 5. When you download Bluestacks, you wanna open up the multi-instant for this. There's a multi-instance that they always download with it. The multi-instance lets you open up different instances of Bluestack. I think 32-bit is the normal base one and you wanna make a 64-bit. So hit new instance. Go over here to fresh instance and then go to 64 bit and then hit next and it'll make it within a second and then install the game there. If you don't know how to get the game, it's downloaded via an APK and you can get those from many other APK sites. Pure APK is a really good one. Marvel Future Revolutions, it's safe. You download it and then when you open up your blue stacks, let's get back into blue stacks and close the game down. When you're into Bluestacks, go over here to this APK button on the far right, right there. You click that, you go search for Marvel Future Revolutions that I downloaded already, you click on it, it will install it, and then now we're gonna have to VPN to Canada because it's a soft launch for Canada, it won't let me play it any other way. So I have Nord VPN right now. You can use any VPN you want that'll let you select Canada. Of course, you have to be able to select Canada, right? Now I got a one month subscription to them because it was quick and easy and I knew I'd be able to get Canada. I don't know what other ones, if there's a free one out there that you can get Canada with, do it. All you need to do is log into the game and then you can immediately log out. So I'm gonna go over here to Canada, hit connect. We are now connected to Canada. I'm going to start the game now. And once I start the game, a lot of times it'll tell you you're not in Canada, right? It'll try to tell you that, but just keep selecting. Just keep pushing it and saying, yeah, yeah, let me in, let me in, right? It'll do that. It'll say this. I've been connected to Canada many times and it keeps telling me not in your region. Not in your, Okay, it took it easily this time. If it gives you issues, close the game down, make sure you're in Canada and then open the game up. Keep clicking on it. It will eventually let you in after a few clicks. And then once you're in the game, once you're here, not to this part, once you're in the game with your hero, and you can always see at this point right here, you can actually tell it to back out. You can tell it to back out or you could be in the game. It doesn't matter. Let's go to VPN. We're going to turn the VPN off, disconnect. Now we've already tricked them and let them know that we signed in. And it should say we've disconnected in a minute. Sometimes it'll say like this error that you've disconnected while you're even in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Sure, sure. Click it, go back in there and now you're, you're in the game, you're fine. We are out of Canada, you don't have to use the VPN anymore, so I know there's a lot of free VPNs out there that'll have like a limited amount that you can use per day, so just make sure you log out right after you log in. And I've done this, I've been on for, I don't know, 10 hours playing the game, and it's been fine. So now you're into it, that's all you gotta do to play. You can play, and then of course I've made purchases through my Google store through here, it's been fine. <laughs> I mean, I haven't gone crazy wailed out, but I've got a few things. It's pretty fun to spend on this game. I really enjoy this game. I can't wait till September 30th for global launch so we can all play it together without having to do this. And by then, there's gonna be a new server. I can guarantee you the server that we're all on right now for Canada is gonna be like the Canadian server. Usually what they do on global launch is they'll have different servers for Americas or you know Asia. Basically, everybody you see playing right now are not gonna be on the global server. That's how they always do this, right? They have us come in for these soft lunch. They say that you can spend money, that they're not gonna wipe it, but immediately what they do is on global as they open up brand new servers and then everybody's starting together because level 100 takes a while to get to. I'm only level 36 and they're gonna be all powered up. So it kind of makes sense, but just be warned if you spend a lot of money and a lot of time and effort on this server, I'm almost 100% they're gonna do like everybody else does and they're gonna bring brand new servers for America, for Asia, for everywhere, for where your friends might be. So just be cautious about that. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't and look down below for the Discord if you wanna join us on Discord. I will see you all in a video soon.